Since this series is about building up Ireland, today we're going to take a look at the Premier Division and see who's going to be in Europe later this summer. Let's go take a look. Hello, my friends. Welcome back in. It's episode four of Erango Bra. Welcome back in. We're playing Shelbourne today in the Irish Leinster Senior Cup quarterfinal. They are surprisingly in ninth place with four games. So, like, there are some teams above them that have games in hand, and they're below us, obviously. But they got a negative seven goal differential. They've not won a single game. This is probably the biggest shock thus far. I mean, they, I mean, Pat Delvin left. Our club is director of football, so there's obviously change in the air in Shelbourne, but they finished fourth last even season. So to go four games without a win, like even though that's a very small sample size, you know, like that's not very good. And they're scoring goals, so it looks to be the defense that's the problem. Um, so that's a that's a bit of a shock to me. Uh, but I wanted to show you, since again we're we're trying to build up the entire country when it comes to continental competitions, international play, stuff like that. Um, let's go look at the previous winners. So last season, Cork City, Dundalk, and Shamrock Rovers uh, took the top three. I'm not sure who the fourth was, but those teams will be either in Champions League first round qualifying or Europa League first round qualifying. I've already looked. Those don't start until late June. So there's nothing really to see, but as you can see, Dundalk 3-1 and one on the year on 10 points. Cork City 3-1-1 one one on 10 points with five games, so Dundalk's got a game in hand. Shamrock Rovers at fourth, Sligo Rovers in third. So they, they appear to be doing all right thus far, but we'll have to see what happens once they get into those, you know, continental competitions. But we will keep an eye on that. Hopefully that's going to be us someday. We can continue to develop and, you know... I'd like us, if we're the Cork City or the Dundalk, to be loaning players to other teams, you know, to that fourth place team that that might get into Euro, uh, the Europa League to help them out. But that's, we got to worry about us right now. Totally understand that. So, since you've last seen us, we've got two more wins. We beat Shelbourne at home, three to one. I've added this. I forgot to add it when I, when I set up FM19. You can add the goal scores. It's quite nice. Kind of gives you a visual of who's doing what. Um, we had two goals in the first nine minutes, which was quite tasty. We, it, I mean, to be fair, it was kind of a stomping. Marty Waters on an 8.9, Jack Tuit on an 8.3, our ca young captain with 13 leadership and 18 work. I matey. He's a pirate, apparently. Um, and then Zach O'Neill, the box-to-box -box midfielder, 17 years old. We have played him a bunch. It actually, the our assistant man uh, said, hey, you, you need to give him a week's rest. So he's not going to be playing today. Coming along nicely. He's on a 7-7-3 seven, seven, three. in three games. But it's three games. Like, a 7-7-3 seven, seven, is unbelievable. Um, we are theoretically two games away from a minimum of five grand in this cup. I'd like to get a win, especially considering we just beat them 3-1 and they've not won a game this season. You've got to imagine, I, I guess I didn't really look at that. Oh, it's not going to show it. You've got to imagine the morale is taking a hit in Shelbourne. Uh, from a transfer standpoint, we do have some uh, bids out. Um, first off, C Cody Mulhall is a quasi-striker left winger. Um, 85, superb signing. From a strike standpoint, he'd be the second or third. I mean, you can never trust our scouts. So second or third best striker. He's better than Poem. Um, Jean Eves. Eves? Eh, one day I'll get it right. Um, but from a left winger standpoint, he's definitely better than Marty Waters, who's our striker, who's better than Dean Casey, who's apparently better than Mark Fox, who I've played more. And because Dean, Dean Casey is the right footed left winger, and that drives me crazy. Um, we also have put out trial requests. For Anthony Breslin, I don't think he's gonna come. Look at the wage demands. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's going. That seems a bit high. You're at Ebb's Fleet, mate, in the Vanarama National League. Are you really? Is he really making? No one knows. Well, maybe we'll find out if he comes and we can talk to him. Is he really making that much money in the Vanarama National League? Curious. Um, so we also put out for uh, Stephen Dunn, um, two hundred to three hundred a week. <laughs> could be better than our current option it says he's extremely doubtful it's like mate you, you don't have a club you you were with the premier division team last season you know like they, they cut you 
you can come get some game time here. We do need a left back. I, I'm like, I've had our scouts looking for left backs. We are not finding anything. It's like, it's almost like if you can't find anything, I might as well take Mick O'Neill here with two gray stars and throw him, you know, or, or Jim Gill, who's three massive gray stars. It's just, we just don't have strong depth. And apparently there's not a lot of options out there. Um, I have also put in a contract offer to Luke Klukas because he's been amazing. I mean, it's only four games in, so maybe it's a little aggressive, but you know, he's on a youth contract until the end of the year. It allowed me to offer him like he wanted like 90 a week on a or, or 90 an appearance on a non-contract. And I was like, no, I want you training. So I, I made it part time and clicked it like non-negotiable. So he said he'd take 90 a week with a 10 uh, euro goal bonus. And I said, done. But it, if he takes it, it locks him up until the end of next year, which I'm hoping allows him. He's already doing well in training. Um, if you can look here. I love I love this right here. It gives you the opportunity to go like who is doing well in training where they probably deserve some minutes. Like if you had uh, a, a substitute, but they're crushing in training, I'm gonna give that person game time if I can. He's on a nine three five um, in the the last week, he, and, and that's why you're seeing green arrows. So I'm hoping that if we can get him on a part time contract where he's actually training more, is my guess versus youth. This continues to improve, and then we've locked him up for another year. We would do the same thing with Marty Waters as well, um, but that's that, that's kind of where we're at. So let's uh, let's get into it today. We're just going to play Shelbourne. It's going to be an extended highlights match. Let's go. i got to hop forward. I, I, I've learned my lesson. I'm, I'm not going to just click next. I'm just going to take you straight to the game. Riddle me this, odds makers. Why is Shelbourne away from home favored four to five odds when they've not won a game all season and we just beat them three bundles? I, I, I'm going to say that, and then we're going to get stomped. But you, when you look at the facts, you go like, that doesn't make any sense. Um, we have rotated out um, the, the guy I just told you, Zach O'Neill, that needed a rest because he's 17 and we've played him a bunch. So Owen Morgan is going to come in. He can play the box-to-box -box midfielder just fine. Needs to work on his dribbling and his first touch. But everything else looks pretty good. So, again, I do have individual instructions for... Some of these players like take more risks with your passing because you have an 11 and you're a legend at this level with passing and dribble less because you're a five. Um, <laughs> so he's come in. We brought in uh, Blackburn as well on the cover because he's got 13 pace and acceleration so he, he can get back. Now he isn't very composed about it and he can't head the ball away. So we'll put him on cover, the 21 year old. Um, we're, and we're resting uh, Jack to it because he's played a bunch. Keeley slides over from that cover roll to the just straight up defend row. Costello is in. Knight, Fox, Watson, Doyle, all the usual faces. And of course, Marty Waters. Yeah, we know about you. And then Luke Klukas, who by far is my favorite. I hope he is yours as well. Just just the name. I just I just love it. It, it, it takes me to a happy place in my head. Um, do I have sound off? We'll have to find out. Okay, encourage the team. How about this? Um, show me what you do to keep our, our run going. How about the, hey, remember the last time we stomped them? Let, let's go do it again. Um, that might may have been an option, but I didn't click through to see it. Okay, we're going to go sounds. Oh, yeah. Has that killed the crowd sound? That may have killed, oh, there it is. It just takes a minute. You know, the the sound engine in FM, it's a, you're getting it going. Here we go, lads. I thought I thought we might play counter or, or cautious, I should say. We're playing the same formation, same instructions. We just have a cautious version and a positive version. Penalty, of course. I don't there's no whistle on penalties. Is that it is is that a, oh, oh my green screen. Is that a thing? Do they just point? They don't blow I think they blow the whistle. It just seems right at him, and then he gets the rebound. It's okay, lads. We're two wins away from five grand, which would be massive. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, lads. We've had three shots. Not over them on target. Let's see what happens. How could you beat a team 3-1 and then you're going to lose in the cup? Is it because we rotated? Is that is that what happened? What you doing? Kevin Knight, just just hanging out? Just hanging out, mate. You're the left back. <laughs> eh, 
He's like, he wouldn't even watch it. It's like, oh, oh they kicked the, they started the free kick. Okay. All right, Watson pings it forward. Who's there? It's Marty Waters. He's got it one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Yes, Watson Holmes. Sixth goal of the season, assist by Jack Watson. That's how we play, my friends. Pass it into space. Long ball over the top. We're not going to let the ref take over the game. Well, I mean, they brought in extra stands here at Stradbrook. I mean, it's lovely stuff. It's lovely stuff, friends. Okay, no one else has played really well, but Marty Waters, because well, he did a one-on-one, -on -one and he actually beat the keeper. He gets a he gets an 8.1. What does the Fox say? Pings it forward. He says it. Lucas Klukas, what you got, mate? Oh, he chips it. Oh, he could have. I, I, I would have liked the pass there, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Six shots. We've come into the game. We woke up. We just need, you know. Stretch out a little bit, wake up. We are a little bit more sh um, physically conditioned, better words, can't get it out, um, than our opposition. I'd like to think we're at home. We've got that equalizer. We can do an exciting team talk about how we've been the better team. And they're all going to buy in, and we're going to dominate the second half. I I'm, I'm going to be like devs off of hashtag United. Let me know what you think. I, I think it's awesome. I, I, I love seeing those team talks. Passionate. We've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. You come out there. You, you can't take anybody lightly in this league. I, is that what he sounds like? I don't know. Oh, no one is at the best. Assertive. Uh, let's get assertive, lads. With everybody. Come on. Come on. Okay, you're I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a passionate. I'm happy. Look to switch off. Mate, mate. You scored a goal. I said I was... I said I was... I'm very happy with your goal. I don't understand. I don't understand team talks. Maybe I'd be the worst manager of their history of football. Like, you, score a goal, do another one. Great job. I'm very, very happy with your equalizing goal. Switches off. What does the Fox say? Passes. I haven't heard that in a while. Um, Owen Morgan misses it. It's kind of in an odd space, but Shane Costello, the right back signing, who hasn't really played well, collects it. Owen gets it back, pings it into space. No one is actually in that space, but, you know, that is the tactic. They start to county. Wayne Rooney apparently is, is dropped down to the first division of Ireland. Uh, Keeley clears it away, or tackles it away, but then no one finishes up oh danger danger deflected deflected come on lads seven shots to a target they've had two clear good chances we've had five long shots but i don't want to do work the ball in the box like i don't want us to slow it down if we're countering i want us to counter with pace and just go for it and keely is nervous you made you made a great tackle what what are you nervous about oh things are i, I got too many electronic devices that's really what it is come on lads Oh, Luke Lucas is letting us down. He's on a 6.3. He's, he's he's overwhelmed by the contract offer. Uh, set piece. Master set piece theater. Let's do a shout here and demand more. I don't even want to. We're not going to watch that. We're not even going to justify it. Let's go. Come on, boys. We beat them three. I just want to remind you. 3-1. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Three, one. Okay, we're going to close down the guy that's really, or, or, yeah, yeah, the guy who's really tired. Closing down makes sense, even though he's having a great game. Maybe we can disrupt his great game. You know, just, just making suggestions. Um, okay, we're going to have to make some changes, my friends. Nothing doing. We are going to go aggressive. We're going to go aggressive. We're going to go 4-2-4. Four, four. Luke has played well for us, but not today. So we're going to put in... <sighs> Jean Eves, 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 if I could get the words out, that'd be good. Um, Doyle, you've got good crossing, mate. Watson has played well. Mm, Doyle's not played well, so Keith Dalton, we're just going to bring people in as we see fit. Is he, he, is, you're a right winger. Okay, it's just a little bit further forward, mate. I mean, come on. Uh, do we do the triple summage? You know, let's bring on the captain. Bring on the captain. Can he spark a reaction? Let's go attacking. Do I, I have pass into space on. Yep. This is how we like it. Let's go, lads. Triple subage. You've got what it takes. 
Captain Jack believes we might have to press our lineup. Oh, are they going to get a third? Are they going to beat us 3-1 when we beat them 3-1? Okay, here we go. McGinnis, start the counter, mate. Let's get an equalizer. Let's take this to extra time or, or replay. No one's there. Excellent. Long ball forward again. We had lots of lots of people that could have collected that, but we flick it forward. Marty Waters is on the run. Okay, he gets it to Dalton, who's like, I'm too far forward. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that was a lovely cross. Couldn't get the connection. Are we going to miss out on five grand, folks? Devastating. Well, the highlight continues. Dalton, can we get another go at it? Take another ball in the chat. Oh, oh what, the f what? what was that? That's the weirdest own goal I've ever seen. Like, it, did he back heal it? Because it didn't look like it had enough pace to do what just happened. I like that FM19 is going to slow this down. Let's watch. Dalton. I mean, I guess it had good pace, and it was just a, a, a hint of a touch by Reese McInter. And we've equalized. Do we leave it on attacking? I think we do. I think we, we continue to press forward. Let's get the winner right here. Marty Waters flicks it in. Oh, I thought that was going to land in the box. Captain Jack goes out to get it. He's got a man in the middle. Man in the middle. There you go. Watson. Oh, okay. First touch gets it to Fox in space. We'll take the corner. Lovely work, lads. Ten shots. Only two on target with a clear cut chance. It's not been our best effort, to be fair. But here we go. Flicked in. Waters again. Owen Morgan making his, I think, debut. Oh, it's... He's offside. That, that, that drives you crazy, doesn't it? Off of a corner, you're offside. Oh, no, are they going to get the winner? <gasps> Is it going to be a penalty? I feel like... <laughs> smells like it. Okay, ball comes loose. Dalton has lots of room. Is he just going to ping it forward? Yes, he is. Two is, wa is Waters there? He is. He's got help. Get it into your mate. Get it into your mate. Why are you taking it so far wide? Oh, he misses the cross. Oh, that was a 2v1 opportunity, plus the keeper, obviously. Fox gets one in. There's someone at the back post. No, they cleared away. That was a huge chance gone missing. 2v1, you, you run to the corner. We, we we don't have, you know, play for for set pieces on, mate. Okay, lots of space there. I mean, from a from a throw-in standpoint. Chips it in, nobody there. Owen Morgan, is he going to smash it home? No, he get, gets it out to Kevin Knight, who really doesn't know how to cross, dribble, pass. He's one determination. Dalton! 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 Dalton sluts it home! Dalton sluts it home, lads! I'm going to say concentrate. It's going to frustrate and overwhelm everybody. Keith Dalton... I, maybe I should go defensive. First goal of the season comes on as a sub, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, we make When you make three subs, you forget who you brought on. Has he slotted home the winner? Let's see what happens here. Oh, overwhelmed. We went from assured to overwhelmed because I said, let's not lose this in the next two minutes like we did in the, you know, the other games we saw earlier this season. Plays it back. Okay, there's... Yes! That, I, I'm excited, because the other games this season where we had the win, we gave up, uh, or like we had the equalizer, like the first game of the season, we gave it up at the end. This is the complete opposite. Overwhelmed by the feedback. Passionate. Um, nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. Okay, let's get the, let's get the green thumbs going. Waters with the player match on 8.3. Paul Fox, after a 6.7 to an 8.1. Way to go, lad. And then, obviously, Keith Dalton coming in, yes, as a substitute, getting the winner on a 7.3. Get in there, lads. 3-2. Who, who Do we have the draw already? I love that you don't get anything for that. It's just like you might have a chance at five grand. <gasps> Ebsleet has accepted the trial? Maybe we'll find out. It says that he's not making any money. Why do you want six fifty? I don't. <laughs> okay, the semifinal quite far in the future. Um, just enough time for us to be, you know, destroyed by injuries. Let's just hop forward to see if anything happens from a like finding out who we're playing standpoint. Um, let's just go here. When is the semifinal draw? 3.13. Okay. 3.13. Do we have a game then? I'm going to hop forward so we can find out who we're playing. Hold on just a second. He's rejected the trial. Well, you want me to just buy you? Is that is that the idea? Also, Stephen Dunn has accepted the trial. Left back. It, sla it says he's a center back. 
but it's defaulting his first thing to fullback. He knows the position better. This looks tasty. I mean, eight marking and 11 tackling and seven heading that we already knew pretty much means we're going to sign him. Let me know what your thoughts are, but even with the poor technique, one or two, one or two. Oh, oh. Could improve by a slight amount in the future. Acceleration under Benz is overall speed. That's how we play, lads. Decent player for most first division size. Let me know if you would sign him. And if so, Scout Report says he wants two to three hundred. We've got the wage budget for it, but I mean that's pricey. That's pricey. Especially when Kevin Knight makes 75. So let me know. Should should we sign him? I mean, we I know you can't see all the attributes. I'm thinking we do, but you know, I'm open to suggestions. Cody Mulhall has signed 95 a week, hot prospect, 15 goal bonus. We will take it. He needs to work on the crossing, the passing, but he's got the really good pace, and he can cover for the uh, pressing forward. He is our best left wing player and our officially third best striker, but that's still an improvement if you ask me. So that gives it, it just gives us more flexibility um, on the pitch. And then uh, let's see who we get in the draw. There's only four teams okay we would like ucd i don't think that's gonna be how it works dundalk oh, so bohemians our affiliate club at least we're at home i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying we beat them 2-0 at home okay it was preseason but you know you're playing with your affiliate like come on lads you don't i mean you don't need the money we need the money we we can stop leeching off of you if you would let us win the game <laughs> Um, all right, my friends, that's going to do it for today. We are going to come back for the UCD game and we'll do the EA Sports Cup first round. I'm going to actually take a look here. I don't, I don't think, oh, you get 900 euros if you lose 1.3k. Let's see how, oh, oh, if you lose, you don't get any money after the first round. Winner 2.7k, 45 Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, we're going to make as many cup runs as humanly possible, even though our board don't care about it. So maybe we can make a run in the, in the EA Sports Cup first run. I don't know why it says Sports Cup first run when this says EA Sports Cup, but, you know, things. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate all the support. Let's make sure we keep smashing that. If you're new around here for some reason, this is the first episode you've seen. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.